Okay, I'm uh, gonna demonstrate a quick um, demonstration <laughs> of uh, a little script that I put together, uh, which um, helps me when using GTK Record My Desktop. Actually, that's what I'm using right now to record this. Um, I had a little issue of converting the file <coughs> from uh, OGG or OGV to uh, Flash, uh, which I prefer for, you know, obviously uploading to websites. Um, and so I have two different files here created under two uh, different versions of GTK Record My Desktop. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, what I did, which was uh, just basically put a very simple Nautilus script uh, together. And I'm going to go ahead and show that. Um, and this is it over here, convert OGG to FLV. Now, I had an issue. Basically, what it just does is it just converts it over, and it uses mencoder, which you can do from the command line. Um, but I don't want to keep referencing and trying to remember the whole command line, so I'd rather have something I can just use quickly to do. And so this this will do it for me. Um, I had a little issue though, the reason I have two different file formats, uh, different version, uh, yeah, is because I had an issue with, um, initially um, I was able to get this version, the 0 0.36, 0 06 version of, G of Record My Desktop to um, directly um, translate from, or re-encode from OGG to uh, FLV no problems. But then with the newer version of Record My Desktop, the 0 0.307 or whatever it is, um, it wouldn't do it anymore. So in order to um, work around that, I actually have to do a conversion to a portable, a temporary format, which is uh, AVI, and then reformat it over to, from AVI to FLV. Works just fine. Um, it's a little cumbersome. It's not the best way to do things, but it works. I'm not complaining. Um, if there's a better way to do it, I'd love to have some feedback on that. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, because I would like it to be as quick as possible. Uh, <coughs> sorry, encoding videos is kind of slow to begin with, <coughs> but this makes it you have to do it twice. So I'm going to go ahead and give a quick demonstration. Yeah, we'll go with the original uh, one that I did it on, <coughs> and there we go. Now. One of the features that I've put in here is that if you do not have Mencoda on your system, it will um, alert you, and then if you continue with it, it'll um, go ahead and install that for you. Uh, if you have any problems, though, um, you know you can do it manually. <coughs> now it's completed with the AVI format. It's now converting this over to Flash. Now. Um, again, I'm trying to keep these files as small as possible. It defaults to a 640 by 480 uh, resolution. Um, I did that because uh, anything below that is kind of blurry. It's still a little blurry. The, the resulting video is still a little blurry, uh, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty clear uh, in comparison to um, uh, anything below that, it seems. Um, I didn't want to make it any bigger, though, because... Um, you know, then your file size is going to be really big. Okay, so we've successfully converted the um, file over to Flash, and this is it over. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play this one. <coughs> as soon as we load, oh, uh, you know what? It's trying to load it in. I need to change that. I just installed Banshee. Okay, and this was me. Doing a, a quick install of uh, installing Medal of Honor under Wine, nothing major. Okay, so that was the 0 0.306 version. We're going to go ahead and do the 0 0.307. Again, just a quick uh, test video. So we'll go ahead, and as you can see, there's the output. Now, one of the unfortunate things is clicking on cancel doesn't work. Um, this actually seems to be a bug. Uh, but if you click on the close window icon up here, it seems to stop it from doing its job. Um, so, you know, if you really want to stop it, you know, that that's the way to do it. The other way, of course, is just to let it finish and, you know, start again. Um, but uh, as soon as, apparently in the newer version of Ubuntu, um, I'm actually not on Ubuntu right now, but apparently in the newer version of Ubuntu, that seems to be resolved. Okay, so the um, 
we've uh, successfully converted. And by the way, the Ubuntu version I'm speaking of is the Ibex version uh, 8.10. So let's see if this one plays. Yep, plays just fine. There you go. So uh, that's my script that I put together. Um, I did uh, look at another script for inspiration. I'm trying to think of the guy's name now. Uh, let me have a look here. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, uh, by Craig uh, Spusismunski, I guess, September 2005. I looked at a script that I actually still have on you, um, which was uh, a Video Converter. Unfortunately, though, I would have just used Video Converter, except that it doesn't accept OGG format. So I had to do something else, and uh, I'm going to release this, and uh, hopefully it'll be of use to anybody else out there using uh, GTK Record My Desktop, or uh, wanting to uh, trans uh, re-encode um, OGG or OGV files to uh, Flash. And there you go.